we'll cover problem number four from the Simple Harmonic Motion Problem Solving Worksheet in this video. Problem number four reads, an object with a mass of three kilograms is attached to a spring with a spring stiffness constant K equals 280 newton meters and is executing simple harmonic motion. When the object is 0 0.020 meters from its equilibrium position, it's moving with a speed of 0 0.55 meters per second. Calculate A, the amplitude of the motion, and B, the maximum velocity attained by the object. This is its max displacement from equilibrium. Okay, so we know at this position right here, U spring equals one half K amplitude squared, which is equal to the total mechanical energy of the system. That's how we're going to attack part A, is we're going to use the relationship between potential energy and kinetic energy, giving us total mechanical energy, to um, find our amplitude. So, we're going to say then, for part A, that total mechanical energy is equal to the spring potential energy plus the kinetic energy at any particular point. Well, what do we know? What point do we know? We know that the mass of this thing is 3.0 kilograms. We know that the spring constant of this system is 280 newton meters. And we know the position is 0 0.020 meters, and they tell us at that position it has a velocity of 0 0.55 meters per second. We have the position, we have the velocity, we have the mass, and we have the K value. It's actually going to allow us to calculate both the spring potential energy and the kinetic energy at this particular moment in time when it's at this position and this velocity. Summing those two values together, will get us the total mechanical energy. The total mechanical energy is equal to the spring potential energy at the position of the amplitude, which is what we're looking for. So to solve A, we can set up the equation 1 half K amplitude squared, the total mechanical energy in the system, is equal to one half k x squared, any position within the system, plus the, the kinetic energy that the object has at any particular position in the system. So we'll be solving for A. So this will be one half times 280 Newton meters times A squared is equal to one half times 280 newton meters plus one half times 3.0 kilograms times 0 0.55 meters per second squared. So we can enter these numbers on the right hand side of our calculator. I missed a value here. This is 1 half k, and we have to multiply that by x, 0 0.020 meters squared plus 1 half times 3.0 kilograms times our velocity 1.55 meters per second squared. There we go. Now we have the spring potential energy at this position, and we have the kinetic energy at this speed, which occurs at this position equal to our total mechanical energy of our system, which is equal to the spring potential energy at the location of the amplitude. So now we're ready to solve for A. So we can go ahead and we can plug this in and we're solving for A. And what you would find out after you did your calculations is that A is going to equal 
0 0.06 meters. That is our amplitude. That is where the total mechanical energy of the system is equal to just the potential energy. And the kinetic energy would be zero at this position. That's the answer to A. In part B, we want to know what the maximum velocity attained is. Well, in part B, we know that the maximum velocity of the system always happens at the equilibrium position. That is when maximum velocity is attained. At that point, TME equals K. Okay, so TME equals K at the equilibrium position. We know what the total mechanical energy of the system is. We calculated it. Uh, we, we can easily calculate that now that we know what the amplitude is. Okay, we showed up here that the total mechanical energy of the system is equal to 1 half Ka squared. We calculated A. We can now use that to solve for the kinetic energy at the equilibrium position. We can say that the spring potential energy at amplitude is equal to the kinetic energy at equilibrium. So that allows us to write 1 half Ka squared equals 1 half mv max squared. So we can say 1 half 280 newton meters times our amplitude of 0 0.06 meters squared is equal to 1 half times 3 kilograms times our maximum velocity squared. And we're going to solve for Vmax. When you do that, you find that the maximum velocity is equal to 0 0.58 meters per second. That is the answer to part B. Again, we used our energy relationships and our knowledge about where kinetic energy and potential energy are maximum to solve a spring on a mass problem. I hope that helped.